Here's Victoria and Mark with an AMI This Week Shortcut. At AMI, we make a strong effort to engage with our community, which is why AMI-audio started the Community Reporters Program. That's where people with blindness and low vision report on events happening in their communities across Canada. To thank those involved, AMI-audio awarded three of their community reporters with the ultimate AMI-audio experience. The trip to Toronto's head office included a tour of AMI, meeting the team behind Kelly and Company, participating in the pre-production of a show, Dinner with the Team. And the highlight, co-hosting an episode of Kelly and Company with Kelly McDonald and Ramya Muthan. Before he went on vacation, Anthony got to meet the three reporters while they visited and learn more about the program. Hi, Kim. How are you? Nice to meet you. Welcome. When community reporter Kim Thistle Murphy of St. John's, Newfoundland came to AMI's headquarters in Toronto for the ultimate AMI audio experience, she had already gotten a lot out of the program. And this was another great opportunity for her to step out of her comfort zone. I think about what Helen Keller said, life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all. And this has truly been an adventure for me, even just taking on the community reporter position and 10 minutes talking about what's going on and, and coming here and seeing AMI and how you've set up and, and what's so much behind the background. I don't have a, a journalism background or broadcasting, but to see everybody in action and walk through the facility, it was really, yeah, really interesting, really a great experience. Kim was one of three community reporters who got to visit HQ. The other two were J.R. Bjornson of Red Deer, Alberta, and Suzanne Boudreau of Timmins, Ontario. AMI audio producer Marianne Dion Jones works with the team to help them craft their segments and recognizes the impact of the program. I have heard from many community reporters that the role on our show has been a really important uh, addition in their life, that they never thought they would do this, the fact that they uh, are reaching out to people across the country and that they have this shared experience. And it has certainly been a meaningful experience for Kim. Being a part of the program, she gets to share what she loves the most. For me, it's a chance to show off and talk about what I'm truly passionate about. I love Newfoundland, Labrador and St. John's, and if I can share that with other people, so they can learn a bit about the blind and partially sighted community in St. John, and not just blind and partially sighted community, but the disability community, or anything that's going on in the beautiful province of Newfoundland and Labrador. Like Kim, many of the contributors didn't have experience in television or radio before getting involved. Although she was initially apprehensive, having the chance to co-host a show was an experience Suzanne will cherish forever. It was an ultimate experience. Everybody was excellent. I thought I was be, I'd be uh, nervous, but I think uh, Kelly and uh, Ramia are so good at it that you just follow their lead. I'd like to do that more often. Manager of AMI-audio, Andy Frank, feels the initiative has not just enriched the program, it had other positive effects as well. We don't expect the community reporters to actually fly the flag on behalf of AMI. It's inevitable that they do. One way or another, it comes up in conversation, and that's a great way of spreading the good word that AMI is, exists, and that we do serve that community, and that um, these are the people that represent what it is that we're doing. JR is one individual who flies the AMI flag as high as one probably can. I love educating people and most of all I love spreading AMI's words. I love spreading what we do here and how we educate the general public of what it's like to be visually impaired or blind and the cool events we can do like you know bowling, hockey, we can do it all. We just need a little assistance and I love that and to work for AMI to say, hey, I'm here, this is what we do, because people are beginning to know who we are and that means we're making a difference. The program has been making a difference in people's lives for some time now, and Marianne feels through its natural growing pains, it has reached a great point in its existence. From where we began a year ago, uh, when they were nervous and weren't too sure, and as we actually grew the program ourselves, everybody kind of taught us, we taught them, and now we're at, at a beautiful place in the process. It's, it's a, a beautiful segment on the show. And if you ask Marianne who her favorite community reporter is, you wouldn't be too surprised with her answer. I have 21 community reporters and they're all terrific. And uh, there's no way I could choose. 
You can't choose your children. It was great to see how excited they all were to experience the ins and outs of broadcasting. It really is interesting to pull back the curtain and see how the sausage gets made. <laughs> Yeah, although the experiences were very similar, each one was also unique. Like for Kim, her focus was on being outside her comfort zone in co-hosting the show. JR, who's familiar with broadcasting, put together his own video blog on the experience. And Suzanne got to experience the premiere of the AMI original, Passion Connected. If you want to hear more from these community reporters, they report regularly. Just check out AMI Audio to get the scoop.